these are things that I've learned in tech the last year that have really changed the way that I think, the way I see things, the way I, I, I value myself. What is up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Chris Sean Talks. I'm here with another one, and I apologize, everyone. The last time I've uploaded a podcast was on July 29th, about four months ago. Uh, kind of more like three months ago. But now it's November, and I'm back, and I'm going to tell you all something very important. So I want to talk about how my life has been this last year. As you all know, I was laid off about two years ago from entrepreneur. When I was laid off, I thought my life would go upside down. Ended up finding a new job literally only three days later. Got two job offers and got a pay increase. Paid me about 90K a year. I joined that startup. The CTO of that company was very, very, I guess you could say, not a good leader, right? It was very toxic. This person would yell at me all the time. And I remember just thinking, no, Chris, you came into tech so that people don't speak to you like this anymore. You came into tech so that you have the option to just leave a company if you're really not that happy. I quit with no backup plan, then immediately got a job at New Relic. I joined New Relic. They were paying me very well, right? Uh, I was at New Relic for about 11 months and actually ended up leaving there. And, and I'll tell you this. I learned a lot at that company. I had so much fun. I learned a lot more about myself while at the company. I learned more about how corporate culture is like at big tech. I learned about how politics really do matter which I honestly hate with a passion. I don't care about politics when it comes to this stuff, but you had to, I guess, to actually do well in big tech companies, right? With 2000 plus employees, uh, colleagues that you work with. And so I learned a lot about myself. And what I learned about myself when working at New Relic was that I absolutely love doing content creation. Like I absolutely love it. It is my passion. I enjoy it so much. And I just love doing it. And so when I was on New Relic, I was able to grow my YouTube channel substantially because I focused so much on YouTube. My Twitch grew from just 700 followers to about 4,000. I think about 4,500. It's kind of crazy to see how fast that grew. And I, I had a pretty good following on Twitch. Average about 50 to 70 viewers per stream, concurrent viewers, which is actually pretty impressive. And then, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just, I realized that I have the potential to do this full time. And yeah, that was, that was amazing about New Relic. Now, another thing that I learned about myself was I can't be around, I, I, I guess you could say I don't like being around negative people. And for me, I, I, I need to be around people who don't bring me down. And I think that's one thing that I've learned about myself was that, hey, I mean, that's one thing I learned about working with my entrepreneur. My colleagues there, my boss was amazing. They never put me down. Uh, they're very encouraging and understanding my first job as well. My colleagues were fun. And then, yeah. And so I learned about what kind of people I want to work with. I learned about the kind of culture I want to look for when it comes to a new team. Right. And even more than that, one thing I learned about myself when working at that last big tech company that I was working at was that, wow, it's so true. The more money you make, the more problems you have. And there's a reason people are paid maybe $100,000 a year and people who make, who make $200,000 a year have a bit more responsibilities. And, and the more money you make, the more responsibilities you have. And that's just, I guess you could say it's part of life, right? And that really caught me off guard. <laughs> I, I, and it was cool. I mean, I enjoyed it, but I, it just, you know, everyone always looks forward to that number, that big salary that you're going to make as an engineer. And then you get into tech and you realize, wow, this, this is a lot of work which is amazing, which I enjoy, but it was so hard for me to, yes, I like making this much money. These responsibilities are fine, but then my happiness was down here, even though my income was up there, right? And so for me, it's like, I want, it's very difficult to find that by the way, but I would prefer a situation where here's my income level and here's my happiness, right? Whether if it's down here or up here, that is really what I'm looking for. Because for me, life is so short, right? Uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to live and I want to be able to really enjoy my life and live the life I want to live and be happy, right? And look forward to waking up every single day. That is such an important goal for me as someone who has struggled for so long throughout my life. Now, again, that's been my last year and it's been very interesting to be honest. Now that I left New Relic and I'm now interviewing at so many different companies and one thing that I've learned about myself that I did wrong throughout my first set of interviews was that when interviewing at these companies, I thought my goal was to be interviewed, to be the interviewee, 
but I should have also been the interviewer as, as well. I wish I asked more questions. I should have asked more about how this person that I'd be working on their handles their team in regards to micromanagement, in regards to uh, what goals they had before I accepted the offer. That was my mistake. But I, was, I really want to get out of the situation so much to the point that I didn't ask enough questions. For example, interviewing my own manager who I work under. What are his expectations? Uh, what if you don't reach your OKRs? Right? What if you don't reach these goals that you had? If I wanted to take two weeks off in December to propose to my girlfriend, in order for me to take those two weeks off, two weeks prior to that, I have, I have to work extra hours and create content for the two weeks I would be gone. But from my point of view, correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like if I had to do that, work even double the hours two weeks prior to leaving, then this wouldn't be a vacation at all. And so that I should have asked questions like that. And I, 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 the thing is, I never took a vacation even working at New Relic unless they made me take it. But now I understand why they say taking vacations are so important. Thing is, everyone, as y'all know, I've started three different businesses. I know what it takes to run business and I know what it means to work your ass off. And I do that. Maybe it's worth taking that pay cut and just doing YouTube full time, streaming full time, <laughs> podcast full time, blog post full time. Maybe it'll be more worth it. Maybe I'll make less. Maybe I'll only make 150K a year on my on these side hustles. Now, please understand, going from 210, 210, 200K a year down to 150, it is a big difference because I support a big family. But maybe it'll be worth it because I would be so much more happy and have so much more freedom. I just started to think now more than anything, more than just money, I need to find a company who won't do that to me. A company who values my opinions, my my, who values me and will not take advantage of me. Now, this is a business. It's, a business is transactional. You need to give them value, right? And that's how much they pay you based on your market value. But if they're just going to take advantage of you and work you until you burn out, it, it's sad. But more than money, happiness is number one. And, and the thing is, I can't believe I'm in the situation where I can just make that decision. I support my mom, my stepdad, my aunt, <laughs> right? I have employees who work under me on my own company. And so for me to do this will affect all of that. But that is how much I generally value my happiness and peace of mind more than anything you have to understand everyone that i've not been happy at all i've never felt so much anxiety in my life but i'm very fortunate <laughs> that i've been able to have a particular market value and skill set that can help me get jobs not anytime but help me get jobs sooner than later and a job that doesn't pay that much more or pay that much less but they pay very well either way that is how my life has been the last two months that is why I haven't produced as much content in the last two months. And I've, I'm have i not going to lie, these last three to four months, I have been the most unhappiest time of my life in tech. But again, I've learned so much. I've learned about what to ask, what questions to ask when interviewing, what kind of company to look for, what kind of team to look for. When you're about to join a new company, ask if you can meet with other members of the team and just have a one-on-one -on -one with them and ask them about how the team is like, what is the culture like, what's the work schedule like, and et cetera. I didn't do this before, and I'm going to do it now. I think this is very, very important. You know, I am excited though. I, I, I'm excited to go all on YouTube. I'm so passionate about YouTube. I love it so much to create podcasts because it's so fun and just stream with y'all. I look forward to all this so much. It will not be easy, but at least I'll be happy doing it. These are things that I've learned in tech the last year that have really changed the way that I think, the way I see things, the way I, I, I value myself and Yo, I've made a lot of mistakes too, right? But I'll tell you this, everyone, since I've made a decision to quit, I've never been happier. I've never been more at peace of mind. I've never been more happier. More, I've never been more stress-free ever. Like, it feels amazing. <laughs> Despite that, I'm just so excited and happy. And I love it so much. But yeah, that's what I've learned about myself the last few months, in particular, the last couple of weeks. And I'm really looking forward to see what this journey will look like. Anyways, thank you all for watching or listening. And I'll see y'all on the next episode. All right, new episode coming out in two days. I love you all. It's Krishan. See you guys later.